I never thought about SETI before this, to be honest. My uh, undergrad degree is mechanical engineering, so this is really just uh, way out there. Started here uh, about four months ago, beginning of, uh, beginning of the summer. Uh, got involved here through an internship, and it was a bit intimidating just because um, I have no programming experience. So what I do here is I do a lot of monitoring on the Serendip system and the Serendip system's uh, search for extraterrestrial radio emissions from nearby developed intelligent populations. It's a mouthful. So Serendip, it scans the sky uh, for radio signals without actually having to take control of the telescope. So Serendip 6, it's the sixth iteration of the project, sixth version, uh, rolled out in Arecibo last year and this year we got it at Green Bank in June, so just when I joined the project. Every version of Serendip has gotten exponentially more comprehensive than the previous version. Much better resolution, much greater number of frequencies coming in. So it's a commensal program, meaning it's a colloquial known as a piggyback program. You can actually gather data while other research groups and other researchers are using the telescope. So what Serendip does is, while other people are using the telescope, we'll be collecting data that's relevant to our research, looking for ET signals. It's kind of like SETI at home, except the Serendip project looks at a much broader spectrum of signals. And we collect all these and put them into files and later we analyze them. So SETI at home, it'll look at a very small band of frequencies, very specific, what we call like uh, the water line, or the, it's next to the hydrogen frequency, and it deeply analyzes them. Well, Serendip will look at a much bigger picture, but doesn't go through the same analyzing process that SETI at home does. My first project is I did a, a monitoring system for the, the Serendip project at the telescope. These are brand new versions of Serendip, and we need to make sure that they're running well, make sure that the hardware is running well, and we could see how the telescope's doing second by second in real time on our phones, on the computers, just anywhere in the world. It's very easy to use. Now that we have this monitoring system set up, the second project I'm going to be working on is actually analyzing the data. So this data that's being collected in the Serendip 6 project hasn't actually been analyzed yet. It's brand new, it's fresh. Uh, some of it is just less than a year old. So what we're looking for, these, these telescopes are going to look in the sky. And if they see interesting signals when they point at a known location of a planet or a star, we record that. And we look in these, these data files that I was talking about earlier. We want to see which ones of these are unique. Do these signals only show up in one location? So we get this signal. Well, if we keep turning our telescope all around and we still get the same signal looking at no matter what planet, that's probably radio frequency interference. So if you look at planet A and planet B, the chance of them both having the same signal and it being alien, it's, it's, it's nil. But the interesting part is when we look at a planet and we get a signal and it's only there. We move our telescope away, nothing's there. Uh, it only occurs when we look at that planet, then we know something interesting is happening. You know, I also had the SETI at home uh, screensaver running on my computer, but I never knew that this is where SETI at home was done. I never looked into it that far. So I had no experience with uh, data analysis or signal analysis. I went to college because I want to be a mechanical engineer for an automotive company. I want to work on cars, so it's totally different than, I guess, going into space, launching stuff into space. But uh, now that I'm working on in the lab here, I feel like, you know, it's, it's kind of like, wow, this is real. I get to do this, this amazing stuff working on these telescopes. Actual stuff with space, this is crazy. I mean, I tell people and they're in disbelief and uh, I love it. It's just, just I got, I got lucky. I got really lucky to work here.